I just finished putting together a video outside, which I don't do very often. You may remember the video I did a few weeks ago with the 49 to 1 Unun uh, transformer for an NFED half wave antenna. So we had a, a warm day here in February, not very often in New Jersey. So I uh, put the, brought that outside, set up a temporary mast, and uh, hung an antenna in the air to see how well it worked. I just wanted to uh, preface this by apologizing for the glare <laughs> and the video quality doing things outside. I don't do that very often, and uh, the glare on my antenna analyzer is pretty bad, and audio is not that great. So apologies up front. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Well, the weather warmed up a little bit, so I thought it would be a good day to take this NFED half-wave uh, antenna kit that we started a few weeks ago. And now let's actually get the wire up in the air. Got my tape measure, my antenna analyzer, and some coax all ready to go. And we've got the temporary mast installed behind the garage. So let's see how we do. Now we got the tape stretched out here to a little over 67 feet uh, back to the garage there. You need a little over 66 feet ideally for a 40 meter antenna, but I'm going to cut it to about 67 or 68, give me some room to play with and get the antenna adjusted right. Okay, for the temporary lash up here, I got a loop at the end of my rope. We'll stick that through the end of the insulator here and just loop it over the top. Just makes a nice temporary way of uh, attaching this to my rope. All right, no need for precise measuring here. We'll just uh, stick the end of the, the wire through here. I measured it about a foot and a half long. So I'll, I'll loop about that much through here and just tie, loop the end of the wire around itself here. That'll effectively keep it short. And I may run an experiment to see if cutting this extra tail off of here is really gonna make a difference. But I think it's gonna be fine, just like this, for my temporary checkout. And we'll hoist the end of the antenna up to the top of the mast. So our, sp our first experiment here is just with using about 40 feet of coax, uh, no common mode choke. And on the 40 meter band, uh, actually not too bad. The minimum SWR is just below the 40 meter band, which means the antenna is a little long. Kind of expected that since I cut the wire long. So let's go shorten the wire up a little bit, see if we can get that uh, closer in band, and then we'll experiment with the common mode choke. Well, there's our kind of final result. I wound up shortening the wire once and twice, and then I also experimented with putting a common mode choke 0 0.05 wavelengths down from the, uh, the feed point that's uh, right up there. And I found that I actually had better results uh, without the common mode choke. And part of that might be due to the fact that this, this antenna is pretty low to the ground, it's only about uh, six or seven feet up at the feed point here, about 25 feet up down at the temporary mass location. But uh, overall pretty good. And I think this will be usable uh, for field operations and things like that. So. All right, well, there you have it. Now, I, you'll notice that I tuned the antenna kind of towards the low end of the 40 meter band because uh, most of my operating with that antenna is gonna be in CW, which is that end of the band. Maybe uh, later on this spring or the summer, I'm going to bring the antenna out again. We'll run some more experiments with separate counterpoise wires and with the antenna uh, hoisted up into more favorable, higher conditions. But for now, I'm pretty pleased with that result. Thanks again, as always, for watching. See you again.